Can you believe it's Friday again? Already. I don't know about you, but time just keeps on flying for Jimmy. What's up there, guys? It's Friday, December the 9th, 2016. And I'm on my way home again. The end to yet another productive work week. Ha ha ha, productive. This week is technically not the end of the week for me. We have our holiday party tomorrow night, Saturday, which is uh, another get together with all the coworkers, so it feels like I'm at work. Even though it's technically not work and we only have to get together for like an hour or two or I don't know however long it takes us to eat and the company I work for has got about 30 employees and so we do a uh, well we do stuff differently every year this year we're doing a gift exchange and and a dinner it's being catered at some kind of a local hall I don't I don't know all the details yet find out when I get there Anyway, so what's going on? I uh, I hadn't done an update in a while, and I'm, I don't think I did an update anyway. My weight loss goal of 160 pounds came and went. I a couple weeks ago, in fact, uh, hit 160 pounds. And I've still been eating vegan and I actually so here's what the topic's gonna be the word vegan me being naive I did not know that vegan was not just a way of eating vegans like this whole lifestyle and so I'm not vegan in the sense that vegans are vegan. I came to find out. I had somebody kind of correct me on the word because I said that I eat vegan and they said, oh, well, you know, what about this is this? Something to do with clothes and stuff like that. And I said, no, I don't care what kind of clothes I wear shoes specifically because I had leather shoes on and so they brought to my attention that being vegan is not just diet it's like a whole lifestyle change it's almost like a religion you know like you say you're you say you're Muslim or you say you're Christian and you gotta live by rules that are not just going to church on Saturday, but you know, whole life changes, right? Well, that's what veganism apparently is. And so me saying, oh yeah, I'm vegan, is like claiming a whole religion that, it's like, oh no, yeah, I'm not. And so the correction that I was told is call it plant-based. Just say you eat a plant-based diet. And I thought, okay, I won't mess up your word, vegan, and your idea of veganism by saying I'm a vegan when all the things that vegans stand for, I don't necessarily stand for. Namely, you know, the whole idea that all the things you use in life, whether it be your clothing, your uh, your uh, makeup or whatever, hair products, all those things, that they don't affect animals. I was even told that, you know, the eating honey and stuff like that technically is not vegan. Because I use honey as a sweetener in my tea. 
and because it's taking the bees food or something like that you know you're exploiting the bees you're doing something that isn't vegan and so eating honey is not vegan okay well I'm not vegan then I eat a plant-based diet and honestly I don't care so I apologize to any of my viewers out there that assumed that I had made this whole switch in my life and that I was representing animal rights and things like that because I'm not my uh, my dietary change was strictly for my benefit not for the benefit of the animals while it did benefit the animals that I didn't eat it wasn't for them it was for me anyway figured I'd get that off my chest because I know that I've used the term vegan for some of my other videos and uh, I'm not 100% vegan I'm a plant-based or plant-based eater blah 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 so I apologize if at any time you feel like I was misleading you Anyway, off the vegan topic. On to, uh, I don't know, the topic at hand. This morning sucked. Either I'll post it with this video, or it was posted before this video. But uh, last night we had a rainstorm, and it was just warm enough for the rain to be rain, not snow. But then we had a severe temperature drop and so all the water from the rain froze and this morning it was just a giant ice field up by my house and uh, I was reading on Facebook that the locals had all kinds of traffic problems because of this black ice everywhere. So there was a bunch of accidents and stuff. I was lucky enough that I didn't have any problems. I thought for sure I would, but I didn't, thankfully. My uh, new ice tires haven't come in yet. I ordered off the interwebs, Wiggle to be exact. If you're a cyclist and you don't know about Wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E dot com. They're an awesome site. I'm all for supporting your local bike shop, but in the case of these tires, number one, my shop didn't carry them. And number two, the ones they did carry were quite a bit more expensive. Well out of my price range. But, uh, yeah, I got some, I think it's pronounced Schwabe or Schwab. Uh, winter tires. But uh, they got some studs in them to help grip the ice. They were shipped out this week, but they probably won't be here for another week or so because they're coming from England. I'll let you know what they're like when I get them. I don't know if I'll do a review. Anyway, that's about it for me. I'm just taking it nice and slow on this ride home. 
Hope everybody had a great week. And I'll talk to you, talk to you, talk to you. I will talk to you next time. Take care and as always, thanks for coming with me. See ya.